name is Shane Weeks. I'm from the Shinnecock Nation in Southampton, New York. I'm here today um, because of this well that has beached itself here on the shores of Long Island here in East Hampton. Our people, we still come out and we acknowledge these events um, and we do a traditional ceremony. We sing a song um, in honor of the spirit of the animal and uh, then we make an offering to the animal. I've been doing these ceremonies for the last several years um, as the whale uh, beachings increase. Um, all the way from Queens to Montauk, I've, I've been at nearly every, every whale beaching over the last several years. Whales have a, a very cultural significance to our people. In our language we call the whale pota or mije pota, great whale. Well, the importance of the whale being the great being of the sea is able to sustain our people in, in means of nourishment, in spirit, and in, in food. A lot of people don't know, we used to have canoes that, that would hold almost 100 people that would go out there and harvest these animals in a sustainable way that would sustain us and the whales in a balance. The history of the ceremony dates back at least hundreds of years, where the first settlers here in, on the east end of Long Island documented our ceremonial practices for the whale. And what it originally included was a feast that included the tail and the fins of the whale, and they would be roasted here on the beach and then eaten um, throughout the whole community. In our traditions and in our culture, there are certain things that have to be done in a certain way. You know, there are rules to what we wear, there are rules to what we do in ceremony, and um, that, that's something that's part of our tradition and how it's kept so, so tight for us is that uh, when it's passed down, it's passed down exactly how it was given. Traditionally, as, as the whale was given to us by the Creator and by its sacrifice, by beaching itself, we also give back to it in a good way. Oh, hey.